The Ratnaguna Chapter 10 Qualifications for Perfect Wisdom Sakra, King of Gods, asks the Jina, Coursing in wisdom, how is the Bodhisattva engaged in it? Who is joined to not the least thing whatsoever, be it skandhas or element? He who is, quote, engaged thus, the Bodhisattva is joined to wisdom. As one set out for long in the vehicle, should that being be known, as one who has done his duty under many neutas of kotis of Buddhas, who, when he has heard that these dharmas are fictitious and like an illusion, does not hesitate, but makes efforts to train himself. The simile of a village. If a man coming out of a wilderness, extending over many miles, would see cowherds or boundary lines or woods, he then regains his breath and has no more fear of thieves, for he knows that these are signs that a village or city is quite near. Just so the one who searches for enlightenment when he learns of this wisdom, the foremost perfection of the genus, and gets hold of it, he regains his breath and has no more fear, not even that of falling on the level of an arhat or the level of a pratyeka Buddha. The simile of the ocean. As long as a man who travels to the watery ocean in order to see it still sees the trees and forests of the Himalayas, he is far from it. But when he no longer sees these signs, he comes free from doubt and knows that, quote, Quite near is the great ocean, it is not too far away. Just so should be known one who has set out for the foremost enlightenment, and who is learning about this perfection of wisdom of the genus. Although he is not one who has face to face been predicted by the leader, he knows that before long I will experience the Buddha enlightenment. The Simile of Spring in beautiful springtime, when the stalks and leaves have come out, from the branches will before long come forth more leaves and fruits and flowers. One who has taken in hand by this perfection of wisdom, before long he will attain the foremost enlightenment of the leaders. The Simile of the Pregnant Women When a pregnant woman is still astir with pains, one should know that the time has come for her to give birth. Just so will the Bodhisattva, if on hearing of the wisdom of the genus, he beholds her with delight and zest, speedily experiences enlightenment. How to Dwell in Perfect Wisdom When the yogin is coursing in wisdom, the supreme perfection, he does not see the growth of form, nor its diminution. If someone does not see dharma, nor no dharma, nor the dharma element, and if he does not experience the blessed rest, then he dwells in wisdom. When he courses therein, he does not imagine the Buddha dharmas, nor the powers, nor the roads to psychic power, nor does he imagine the peaceful calm of enlightenment. Not discriminating, free from construction, Coursing on resolutely, this is the practice of wisdom, the foremost perfection.